Paul McAdam traveled to the quarantine earlier today and spoke with residents of Johanna and Mibukuri, who are relieved that the cops put an end to the rain after a Bagdam shootout. I'm on the bridge linking Mibukuri to Johanna. Behind me, along this dam, is the spot several miles in where the police brought to the bodies of the three suspected bandits they killed during a firefight on May 19th. The three men were identified as Suchand Sulal, called one Eye Papi, Kelvin Shivgobin, called Kelly, and Ramnarain Jagmohan, all Burbis residents. According to a senior officer attached to the Wim police station, it took ranks more than two hours to access the hideout used by the suspected bandits. Investigators have so far linked the dead men to several of the robberies committed along the quarantine and in New Amsterdam, Burbis. Several residents of Maybikuri North and Joanna gave their reaction to the latest police action. I feel like the police do a very good job. Because all the robbery take place, so you ramp in the black bush right now. And it's a time you ramp in the black bush. And they feel that like they do a good job that you save them, especially in Burbis. So. So we got to recommend the police them that they do a good job and the residents feel more happy and could live a little more peaceful. We feel happy so they kill them and thank the police force very much for that. Because nobody else is glad we didn't go in the house too. We feel very proud for what the police have been done in Black Moshe because we can't sleep in the night when this was happened, you know? We was very scared. And when we see this, we feel very happy and we content with what happened. First time I ever, you know, bandit ever come and that's my wife, brother, over there, and me opposite over here. And when I fired the load first time, I never expect that bandit could accompany here, so, you know? So I was very, very scared. Central Quarantine Chamber of Commerce Executive and Public Relations Officer, Punai Bigrok, complimented the police for a job well done. The criminals are getting too brazen because if you look at some of the, the, the crime that happened recently in Borbis, that the police is just a stone throw away and these criminals would go in the same vicinity and they would, they, would, um, they would harass regular and ordinary people. So, I mean, it's sad to say that young lives had to go down the drain so wastefully, but I, I must say the police have done well and I think crime fighting should be an ongoing process. We shouldn't wait until until it escalates to the state that it is. The business chamber executive acknowledged the police's heightened presence, but noted the challenges. The area is so vast that it's impossible for the police to be all over the same time. And then criminal is just like every, every like how I'm playing my business, I guess criminals, they're looking at how the police operate and then they would try to, to you know, um, beat the police or take, be a step ahead of the police when they did the crime occur. But from a business point of view, I think it was getting really, really um, hard on business people because people start to close their shop early. Every person you talk to, there was fear in every person that who's going to be next or, or we are all going to be next, but it's just a matter of time. Ranks recovered one AR-15 assault rifle along with a 9mm semi-automatic pistol and 2.38 revolvers. They also collected over 300 rounds of ammunition in addition to bulletproof vests face mask, several cellular phones and jewelry confirmed as belonging to recent robbery victims, along with more than $600,000 in cash, a solar charger and a small quantity of marijuana. The government will continue allocating more resources and build capacity in the Ghana police force as it continues the fight against crime. As the police investigations continue, several questions must be answered. Chief among them is where or the source of the weapons used by the suspected bandits. From the Wim police station in Burbis, Paul McAdam for Info Hub.